Hi everyone. Welcome back, to my channel. Today we are going to create, easy and simple, motion graphics product promo video. Before that please give subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get more video like this. You can download this project file from the below description. Let's get started. Open After Effects, and create a new comp, and use 1920 into 1080 pics, and keep 30 seconds duration. Now create a new solid with any color, for background usage. Now search for gradient ramp in effects panel, and apply it to the BG layer. Now you can choose any color in start and end color, for creating a gradient effect, I am using one dark shade and one light shade. Now I am taking circle tool and creating in circle and aligning it to the center of our comp. Then I am bringing the anchor point to the center of the circle. Then making a duplicate, and scaling it little bigger. Now I am copy the ramp effect from the background layer, and pasting it in the circle layer. We can swap the color for the shape 2 layer, then only we can see the difference between the circles. Now we can duplicate the circle layers, and we can adjust the size and colors, like how I am changing here. If you need you can change the colors by using ramp effect. Make duplicate the circle layers, and adjust as per your needed for your video. Repeat the same process until you get enough circles. Now select all the circle layers, and make pre-comp. Scale this pre-comp layer as full as you need. Open the pre-comp, select the circle 1, and give keyframe for scale in 0 seconds, and move little bit forward, and keep other keyframe as I given. Hide the other circle layers. Keep keyframes for the remaining circle layer, as we given for first circle layer. If you need, you can change the colors for the circles. Repeat giving keyframes for other circles as I am giving. I am skipping this part, if you have any doubts please ask in comment. After giving keyframes, come to the main comb, and right click the comb, and go to time, and give time stretch as 25. Now we can add our first image into the comb, and scale it like this, to match the comb. Now we can give keyframes for this, by giving 0 in scale for first frame, and move little bit forward and keep 40 here to add keyframe. This will look like zooming out the lays packet. If you need some smooth animation, then we need to move this keyframes, like this. To make more smooth and good look, I am giving keyframes for rotation also, as we given for scale. I'm doing some little bit adjustment in rotation, to make video smoother, if you need you can also adjust like this. After this we can select all, and we can pre-comp this. Now we can bring the chips image, and we can adjust the scale for this also. Now we can give keyframes of scale for it. We can make bonds effect for chips, so we can keep keyframe for some frames, so it will look great. Keep keyframes as I give, so you will get good animation. Also we can give keyframes for rotation also. Then we can duplicate this chips, and move its position to somewhere else. And you can change the rotation and scale, for previous keyframes as we given. We can give larger or smaller than before we given for first chips, so both will look different. If you need you can duplicate again, and give some animations and text. I am skipping this part. 
Now we can bring the second image, and we can animate it. We have already created the circle shape animation for our first slide, so now we can use it from that. We can copy it, and paste here. We can make a new comp. Then now we can move here. Then now we can change the color of the circles. I am skipping this part. Make the time stretch to 20. And scale the circle layer to match the video. And now we can keep keyframe for the position of image 2. Now you can play the whole video, and see how it will look. Now we can bring the chips image, and animate it again, as we did it for first slide. We can keep the chips image below the packet layer, and we can animate it, like coming from inside. Also keep keyframes for rotation also, so it will look good. If you need, you can duplicate the chips and give some animations. I am skipping this now, and I make like this animation, you can create in your own way. Now take the pen tool, and make the fill option none, and give stroke white color. Now, we can draw like these simple lines near to this pack. Now, we can give trim path to these lines. And give keyframes an end, as 0 and move little bit frames and keep 100. Do the same for all the lines. And also I make this effort in the four sides, so it will look like this. And also you can give some text animations, so the final will be like this. I think till now you understand these, now let we give some different animation like changing the pack colors. Now we can bring our next image, before that I have created another background layer, like we did before. Now we can bring our next image, and we can give some simple animation to it, also I am skipping this, you can create it as you like. Now we can bring our next image, keep it above the first image, and please match the size, we do not see the below image. Then now search for Linear Wipe and Effects Panel, and apply it to the second image. Now we can give keyframes for transition completion, first keep 100 in starting, and move little forward the frame and keep 0. And if you need you can give Feather. Now you can check how it looks. Now we can take that circle animation again, and paste here, and we can change its color. First make precomp, and go into it, and match the color with the second image. We can also easily do it, first change the color for one circle, and then we can copy and paste two other circles, like this. Now we can change the size to match the area. Now we can move this circle animation at where this transition starts. Move and keep where it's starting, like this. 
Now make the time stretch to 15. Or make to 10, as per your wish. Check it how the animation looks. After this, if you see the below image means, then we can hide it. By this way, after the transition of second image, we can change opacity for the below image to hide it. After this you can check the animation. If you need, you can change the duration also, like this. Now you can bring the next image here. In my image, you can see there is some white areas, if you also have any issues in your images means, you can use this technique. Take the pen tool first, and mask the outer area like this, then our image will look nice. Then now we can match the size of third image, as we did for our second image. Now you can do the same process, which we did for our first and second image. If you forgot it, then please watch it again, what we did for our first and second image. I am skipping this part, because I have done this process for 4 to 5 images, so it will take time. After completing this for all your images, you can play and see the whole video. If you get result like this video, then you are working correctly, otherwise please check our video again, and correct it properly. Now we can bring our logo here and I am adding light sweep effect. We can change the light sweep angle like this. Also we can change the directions. I am starting light sweep from above, by giving keyframe here. And move little bit frames forward. And keep other keyframe here. That's all guys, if you need you can change some position and scale of the logo. Now take the text tool, and you can also add any slogan to your logo. And you can change the font and color, for this text to match the logo and background. Align it to the center of the frame. And also I am using this red color from the logo. That's all guys. Thanks for watching this video, I think you can also now create some motion graphics video, if you have any doubts in this video, then please ask your questions in comment section. Also please support us, and subscribe to our channel.